Welcome to Cardiac Delusions. Let's see our code today. If there is an audible metallic click in a patient with a prosthetic valve, it is impossible to have a stuck valve. Is that true or false? There is a 28-year-old female patient who presented to the ER complaining of acute dyspnea of two days duration, and she gives a history of surgical mitral valve replacement six months ago by a mechanical prosthesis for rheumatic mitral regurgitation. So, the doctor in the ER was concerned about the provisional diagnosis of stuck valve. But the ER doctor escalated the patient and he heard the clearly audible click. So, he reassured the patient that her valve is working properly and no need to be concerned that there is a problem with the heart and so he discharged her. But the problem is that the patient came again after one hour as she was still distressed and that's why she's worried that there is a problem with her heart. The cardiology resident was requested to examine the patient to decide what the reason for her symptoms and he was still concerned about the diagnosis of stag valve and so he decided to check the prosthesis by fluoroscopy regardless that there was an audible click. And the fluoroscopy shows that during systole there is no problem but in diastole one leaflet is stuck in closed position while the other one was still functioning. And that's the reason for the patient's symptoms and so surgical consultation was done. So, can we explain this weird situation that the patient is having an audible click, but she is still having stuck valve, causing her respiratory distress? Let's first revise that we have two types of surgically implanted valves. The first one is a mechanical prosthetic valves, and there is also bioprosthetic valves. The first type has a whole mechanical components and it has three subtypes. The most commonly used one is a bileaflet prosthesis and we have other two types that are rarely used which are single tilting desk and bowl and cage valves. Because they have whole mechanical components they are liable to thrombosis and so they need long-term oral anticoagulation using vitamin K antagonist. While the bioprosthetic valve has a metallic ring and a biological leaflets either from human source, bovine, or porcine, so they are not whole mechanical valves as the first type. And so they need just oral anticoagulation in the first three months, especially for mitral valves, but after this there is no need for long-term oral anticoagulation. So here, the mechanical prosthetic valve, there is a metallic click audible by both the patient and the doctor, while the bioprosthetic valve, there is no audible click because here the leaflets are natural from biological source. Let's explain the situation with our patient. This patient was either not compliant to warfarin or she was having a thrombophilic state resulting in thrombus formation. So here with diastole, the mitral prosthesis is allowed to open in order to allow diastolic filling. Here one leaflet is stuck due to the thrombus formation while the other one was still well functioning. So there is a metallic click audible in this case or maybe it is lower intensity than the usual for the patient but the doctor here can auscultate a click despite one of the leaflets is stuck. This situation resulted in relative stenosis of the mitral prosthesis so there is decreased LV filling and backward failure with pulmonary venous congestion so the patient here is distressed due to stuck valve despite audible click. What about if there is thrombus formation including both leaflets. So here in diastole both leaflets are stuck and they are not going to open so there is minimal or no metallic click audible at all the resulting in nearly occluded mitral prosthesis with diminished LV filling to the degree that may cause cardiogenic shock and severe backward congestion up to acute pulmonary edema. So in this classic example the patient is in a critical condition due to stuck valve with both leaflets are closed with no audible click so here there is a combination of stag valve and no audible click but if one of them is a still functioning click may be audible by the doctor so if you hear one of your colleagues telling you that the patient is having an audible metallic click so it is impossible to have a stag valve tell him that this is not accurate because an audible metallic click does not exclude stag valve for example, if the patient is having one leaflet stuck while the other is still functioning, there would be a metallic click produced by the remaining functioning leaflets. And so we need to have fluoroscopy 
or echocardiography, either transthoracic or transesophageal, to assess the motion of both leaflets in order to confirm or exclude the diagnosis of stag valve, but don't depend on the metallic click solely in order to decide whether this patient is having or not having a stag valve. Thank you very much for watching this video and wait next week for the next cardiac delusion.